Welcome to the Digital Moneta channel. My name is Rick Rogers and today we'll be taking a look at the new release of the NVIDIA RTX uh, graphic cards. Uh, they are currently pre-order on their site. Uh, they've got the 2080 Ti, uh, the 2080, and a 2070. So if you're familiar with like the 1080 Ti's, the 1080's, and the 1070's, these are the new generation. And as far as what I wanted to do is I wanted to jump on here, kind of go over this new, these new cards in regards to digital currencies and mining those currencies. So that's what we do. That's how we would use these cards. We would use these uh, GPU cards for uh, mining uh, digital currencies. And I can tell you right now, looking at these price points, that's not going to, that's probably not going to happen or at least ROI on these is going to be way out in the future. We're probably looking over a year to get an ROI on the card. Not alone, you have to take this card and build it into a rig with motherboard, CPU, RAM, power supply, and all that. So I don't even know if you could ROI within a year. Not a year, definitely not a year. It's going to take a couple of years to ROI. So don't get me wrong, we'll put... We'll, won't do the pre-orders, but we'll probably be ordering at least a 20 Ti, maybe a 2070 Ti to test them out and try them in our rigs. I mean, we do have uh, 10 rig rigs at this site alone. We have 10 rigs uh, doing GPU mining, a variety of different coins. Uh, we use Simple Miner. Uh, but um, so we might take one of these cards and throw it in one of those rigs and see what we can get it to do. But at that price point, not real impressed looks like amazon actually has as it's again going to probably be a pre-order on the yeah you're not going to get it till september uh so all of this is going to be pre-order orders and they're at 850. if we jump over to new egg most of this stuff is out of stock and again the pricing is just it's just out of the ballpark uh, we were really hoping for lower price point. EVGA's website, the standard 1080, or excuse me, 2080 Ti, it's going to go for 1200. Their ultra version is going to go for 12 and a half. Don't, don't, and these are usually the ones we would pick up is actually the EVGA's. So, I, again, just not real impressed with the price point on these guys. Uh, if we come over and look at the specs on the, uh, 2080 Ti, Founders Edition, and the uh, the Standard Edition, they both seem to have. Now, the CUDA cores is one of the main things we have always looked at when we're picking up cards f to try to figure out hash rate. Uh, the CUDA cores and, obviously, the um, memory. But the CUDA cores, we could usually predict about where our hash rate was going to be, and this is not a huge jump. 4352 is not a huge jump from the 1080 Ti's, which were like 3584, if I recall, off the top of my head. So there's not a huge jump there, which tells me we're not going to see a huge jump in hash rate. And again, the other item we'd look at is the memory, and we're only looking at 11 gigabytes, although the RAM is a new, the newer RAM, it's a GG, a GD. DR6, so it's the an upgrade RAM, so that'll be a bit of a bump there. But as far as going through these specs, nothing's really jumping out at me. Most of that stuff's for gamers. Again, I'm looking at this from a uh, digital currency mining perspective. That's what digital moneta is all about, digital money. Um, power consumption, still pretty high for one card. Um, I don't see any specs here that jump out at me. I'm guessing, and this is purely speculative because it's apples to oranges, the 2080 Ti versus the 1080 Ti. It's apples and oranges. But looking at these specs as far as the, the CUDA cores and the memory, I'm guessing you're going to get about 40%, maybe 30% more uh, in your hash rate over the 1080 Ti, which to me almost makes me think hey why not hold out get over here on ebay and starting to see some fire sales on these 1080 ti's 
Uh, we haven't seen these prices this low since probably late 2017, uh, maybe early 2000. Uh, no, it would have been early 2017, excuse me, early 2017. We haven't seen pricing this low. So I would probably be more inclined to pick up some of the 1080 TIs. And if you wait a little bit longer, you're probably going to see the pricing come down on those as well dramatically versus you know, $1,100, $1,200, $1,200 for something that's not going to double or triple or even quadruple your hash rate. Um, you're not going to see it. You're going to see 30 or 40 percent probably. That would be my best estimate. Clearly an estimate. No clue. Another thing, you know, as far as I'm not saying GPU mining's dead, but when it comes to ASIC miners, I can pick up a Z9 Mini and with power supply at this price point here you know at this price point here i can get a, a um, z9 mini and be doing ridiculous hash rate over what this card's going to do and that's just the card again this is not a full rig that's only the card so i would actually be more inclined to go that route now, don't get me wrong like i said we've got a lot of gpu mining rigs we still gpu mine what we do most of the time though is we take whatever digital currency we're mining and we then invest or trade that using like something like crypto hopper where we can actually on a daily basis increase our returns off of what we mined so you know gpu mining can be profitable if done correctly fortunately we have low electricity rate um, and then we're turning those uh, digital currencies over into trading and then increasing those profits. So we're not going to stop GPU mining, but I'm certainly not going to invest a whole lot into this new technology when I'm not going to get a huge bang for my buck. Um, as far as anything else goes, I we look through this. Yeah, they look great. But as far as anything that jumped out and grabbed us nothing really did so just wanted this to be a quick video uh let you all know we've got something new coming out kind of our thoughts on what to expect pricing's too high you're not going to get a big bump in hash rate i would probably go buy the older technology might keep gpu mining take those returns trade them and keep increasing yes even in a bull market you can still get positive returns so keep up the mining keep up trading uh, keep profiting for now i'm gonna sign off and if we could get you to subscribe and like the video that'd be great if you didn't like the video let us know why uh, or let us know what else you'd like to see us talk about uh, we're we're open to suggestions thanks and take care